Great. Next. Um, yeah, so for this question, they're asking you what is the square root of 180 simplified in radical form, right? So first of all, what does it mean when it's a radical form, right? So if you're taking a square root of 180, the way you're going to write this, right, is going to be like this, right? Yeah, I know that radicals may seem overwhelming for some students who are learning this for the first time, but honestly, if you understand this, this is like the easiest. Um, so if you have square root, right, typically we say that the square root of 180 or any other number, right, the index is 2, right? So when you say cube root, you would have 3. So this is what you call your index, but for square root, we don't typically write 2. So if you don't see any number, that means it's a square root, right? So that's how we write radicals in terms of an index of 2. Okay, so um, they had this calculation here, um, but I didn't really like this because just to make this whole thing um, more, I mean, simpler, right? So if you have square root of 180, all you have to do really is use your, what do you call this? least common multiple, right? The way you're going to use synthetic division. I'm not sure if you've learned this in class, but this is my technique. Okay, this is Janine the tutor's technique. So you take 180, right? And this is the fastest way to do it. So you take 180 and all you have to do is think of prime numbers, right? So keep it simple. Prime numbers like two, three, five, and so on and so forth, right? So I'm going to use two, right? Because I know that 180 is divisible by two. And how do I know that? Well, 180 is an even number, right? So if your last number is an even number, therefore it's divisible by two. So that's how I know. So 180 divided by two would give me 90, right? So as you can see, 90 is an even number, right? It ends in zero, therefore I can divide this with two. It's divisible by two. So 90 divided by two, I get 45, right? So now that I have 45, I can use five to divide 45 with five, right? And why? Because this number over here, right? If it ends in an, sorry, if, an, if, it, if a number, right? So say for example, 45, it ends in zero or five. That means that number is divisible by five, right? So as you can see, it ends in five, therefore 45 is divisible by five. So if you have 45 divided by five, you get nine, right? We know that nine is divisible by three, so that's why you get three. So in order to simplify the square root of 180 in radical form, all you have to do is combine the numbers in pairs, right? Does that, does that make sense? Because if you have the index of two, right, you need to combine the numbers in pairs, right? So as you can see, you have two, you can form a pair because there's two numbers of two. And for three, you can also form a pair. That's why it's um, an index of two, right? Because you're supposed to group them um, based on two numbers. And as you can see, there's one number that's left, right? So then the number that is left over here is going to be the one that will be left inside your radical, right? So in that case, this is a 2, right? So when you rewrite 180 in terms of the square root, you're going to have 2 times 2, and this is times 3, times 3, times 5, right? So when you actually group this, right? Remember, this is 4, right? 2 times 2 is 4. So when you're taking the square root of 4, it's actually 2, right? So that's why this is going to be grouped together as 1. So you take that out as 2, right? Because the square root of 4 is 2. And then you have 3 times 3, which is 9. So the square root of 9 is 3. So you multiply this to 3, and that's why you get 6, right, outside. And whatever is left that doesn't form a pair, right, that's going to be inside your radical. Does that make sense? So that's why you have square root of 5. And as a result, your answer should be 6 square root of 5. So this is your final answer. And I think they did a couple of steps here, but I think this is the most straightforward step. So... And also, the way they wrote this, right, it says the square root of 180 is plus or minus 13.41. Okay, so it's not even exact, because if you take your calculator with you, you take the square root of 180, right? So in terms of decimal, this is actually 13.4164786 and so on and so forth. So I think the best answer would be 6 squared of 5. So that's just my comment. I think it should be 6 square root of 5, so. Okay, so yeah, 
Hopefully you guys understand this. And also just keep in mind because the index of a squared is two, right? Let's say if it was a three, then all you have to do is group the numbers in terms of three numbers in a group. Does that make sense? So instead of having just two numbers, make sure it's grouped into, so one group would consist of three numbers and they need to be identical, right? So instead of having just two twos, right? You're going to have three of your twos, right? Grouped together. So that's how you're going to simplify any type of radical depending on the index. Okay, so the answer should be um, 6 and you have squared of 5.